okay students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please download your notes dear students in today's lecture we will cover digestive system of earthworm dear students in today's lecture we will discuss digestive system of earthworm ferritima postum it is very important topic for bsc it is final exam topic dear students digestive system of earthworm ferritima it is divided into two parts alimentary canal and digestive glands the alimentary canal in case of earthworm it is complete and this alimentary canal it is a straight tube and this tubular structure which extends from the very first segment of the body and it extends up to the last segment of body this alimentary canal it is divided into following parts mouth second part is buccal cavity then pharynx esophagus or gullet then gizzard stomach intestine and the intestine opens by an aperture that is anus which lies at the terminal part of last segment pygidium anal segment first of all we will discuss different parts of alimentary canal in details mouth this small aperture slit like aperture and this aperture or mouth that lies in the first segment of body and the first segment of body that is peristomium dear students first segment is peristomium as it surrounds it encloses this first segment encloses mouth in front of this mouth first segment a fleshy lobe is there and that fleshy lobe is prostomium that prostomium which involves in ingestion of food as well as prostomium involves in burrow formation as the animal is fossorial it lives in burrows dear students first segment is peristomium and this first segment peristomium encloses mouth and in front of this mouth first segment peristomium a fleshy lobe and this fleshy lobe which acts as upper lip which involves in ingestion of food as well as burrow formation that is prostomium the second part of alimentary canal that is buccal cavity this small thin void space or cavities that is buccal cavity oral cavity and this buccal cavity extends up to the end of third segment next part is and this part is very important very important for final exam it is pharynx dear students third part of alimentary canal that is pharynx first is mouth that lies in first segment which is peristomium in front of peristomium a fleshy lobe and this fleshy lobe is prostomium and the mouth leads into a cavity that is buccal cavity the third part that is pharynx which is an important part for final exam this is the structure of pharynx and this pharynx which is small thick walled and this pharynx is glandular dear students it is muscular and it is highly vascular as in the roof of this pharynx a buccal mass is there a pharyngeal mass is there a bulb is there which is glandular and that glandular part consists of an aggregation of unicellular glands salivary glands which secrete saliva and that saliva contains a proteolytic enzyme dear students in the roof of pharynx 
a mass is there a bulb like structure is there that is pharyngeal bulb pharyngeal mass and that mass consists of an aggregation of unicellular glands these are slavery glands which secrete proteolytic enzyme that involves in the digestion of proteins and this middle part of this pharyngeal bulb that consists of muscles so it is muscular it is muscular part as well as this middle part is highly vascular it has an rich blood supply in this lower part this pharyngeal lining epithelium and this epithelium grows inwardly horizontally it grows as a result this pharyngeal cavity the space is divided into two chambers upper chamber and lower chamber this upper chamber is dorsal chamber and dear students this lower part is this spacious cavity chamber is it is ventral chamber the pharynx very important it is thick walled it is glandular having an aggregation of unicellular slavery glands which secrete saliva that contains proteolytic enzymes and in this middle part which is highly muscular and vascular as it consists of well developed muscles and highly vascular means it is enriched with blood supply and this epithelium this epithelium pharyngeal wall epithelium that grows horizontally which divides this pharyngeal cavity into this dorsal upper chamber and lower ventral chamber this pharynx it acts as a sucking and pumping organ next part is esophagus gullet dear students fourth part of this elementary canal which is esophagus or gullet it is a simple thin wall tubular structure and this tubular structure esophagus gullet which extends from the fifth segment up to the end of seventh segment in the segment number 8th or dear students in the segment number 8th and 9th another important structure of elementary canal that is gizzard that is a thick wall oval shaped and this gizzard which lies either in 8th or competition student 8th and 9th segments and this gizzard its wall consists of powerful muscles the contraction of these muscles which are present in gizzard wall that causes mechanical breakdown of food it means gizzard it masticates the food particles then the next part is stomach very important very important this stomach again it is thin walled and it is tubular structure and it extends from this 10th segment to the end of 14th segment competition students note down each and every point particularly the numbering of segments mouth that lies in first segment this buccal cavity extends up to the end of third segment the pharynx it extends up to the end of fourth segment then this esophagus it extends from this pharynx up to the end of seventh segment then this gizzard which lies either in eighth or 8th and 9th segments then this stomach it extends from this 10th segment to the end of 14th segment the stomach wall that consists of calciferous glands and these calciferous glands are gain secret proteolytic enzymes to digest proteins then very important part and the largest part of elementary canal this is the last part of elementary canal it is intestine and this longest and widest part of elementary canal which extends from the 15th segment to 
the end of last terminal part of the body this intestine in its 26 segment not down very important point in the segment number 26 a pair of leaf like glands are there these are intestinal cica in the segment number 26 these are a pair of leaf like structures these are intestinal cica and these intestinal cica which secrete amylolytic enzymes it means these are digestive glands as well as these are excretory glands a pair of intestinal cica which are present in the segment number 26 and dear students another important point of this intestine from the segment number 27th internally a membranous fault which is mid dorsal and this longitudinal fault it is named tiflosol not down not down all students competition students bsc students in the segment number 26th onward up to the 23 to 25 segments in front of anus it means this tiflosol which begins from the segment number 26 and it is absent in the last 23 to 25 segments means this intestine is divided into three parts this anterior part of intestine from 15 to 26 segment without the flow soul. And again the last 23, 25 segments are without the flow soul. This first part of intestine it is pre flow solar. Last part again without the flow soul that is post the flow solar region. And this middle part begins from the 27 segment in which this membrane is fault. It is the flow soul that reason is tiflosolar reason this tiflosol which is a modification of intestinal villi and it involves in secretion as well as it provides maximum surface area for absorption of food it means this tiflosol it is main site of absorption of food dear students this tiflosolar region in which digestion becomes almost complete as well as this is the main site main seat of absorption of food and the last segment last part post tiflosolar region that occupies that consists of 23 to 25 last segments without tiflosol and that particular part acts as rectum in that rectum or post tiflosolar region undigested food material in the form of small pellets are present it means the last part post tiflosolar region or rectum that stores undigested food material pellets and these small pellets are removed through the ns and that aperture lies at the terminal part of last segment the last segment is anal segment dear students last segment is pygidium that pygidium last segment opens by anus through that anus this undigested food material or these small pellets are removed in the form of worm casting and that worm cast casting highly nutrients highly nutritious as it enriches the soil the nutrients of these worm casting enrich the soil which act as this worm castings that acts as biofertilizers which enriches the soil particles dear students digestive glands in this digestive system of earthworm four types of digestive glands pharyngeal roof 
that consists of pharyngeal mass or bulb in that mass aggregation of unicellular slivery glands are there then in the wall of this stomach second type of digestive glands these are calciferous glands which are present in the stomach wall which secrete again proteolytic enzymes like pharyngeal secretion in intestine these intestinal cecca and the intestinal lining that secretes intestinal juice and in that intestinal secretion all types of enzymes are there proteolytic like trypsin and pepsin for the digestion of proteins dear students amylolytic like amylase enzyme for the digestion of starch lipolytic enzymes like lipase for the digestion of lipids and for the digestion of cellulose the intestine also secretes cellulase enzyme it means complete digestion particularly that digestion occurs as well as absorption of food that takes place in this middle part of intestine tiflo solar region which is main site of digestion and absorption of food and the undigested food the palates the worm castings that is removed through the anus this is all about digestive system of earthworm dear students two parts very clear this elementary canal which is straight tubular structure at that elementary canal which is complete having both openings mouth and anus and the mouth which which is present in the first segment of the body that is peristomium and anus opens at the terminal part of last anal segment of the body and this elementary canal having mouth buccal cavity pharynx then this esophagus and the mastication of food which is carried by gizzard then stomach its lining consists of calciferous glands which produce proteolytic enzymes the pharynx glands the pharyngeal mass bulb that also secretes saliva having a having proteolytic enzymes and the secretion of intestinal glands a pair of intestinal cecca at the intestinal lining that secretes intestinal secretion in which all types of enzymes are present proteolytic amylolytic lipolytic as well as the digestion of cellulose which is carried by cellulase and dear students this entire intestine which is divided into three parts from 15th to the 26th segment it is without tiflo sole it is pre tiflo solar region and the intestinal middle part having this in membranous fold mid mid dorsally and it is tiflo solar region and the last part of intestine that occupies 23 to 25 segments without tiflo sole that part is post tiflo solar region and this intestine opens by anus and anus lies at the terminal part of last segment which is pygidium and the undigested food in the form of pellets removed in the form of worm casting bio fertilizers which enriched the soil particles so this is all about digestive system of earthworm and tomorrow's lecture we will discuss very important topic that is circulatory system thank you